Today we're gonna make our stuffed strawberry pattern. This is a pattern you can find in my Etsy shop. It comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And it also comes with a pattern to add a little flower embellishment with a couple of leaves if you like, um, or you can leave them off and they look just as cute without them. To begin, you're going to want to choose your pattern size and just print it off onto regular pattern paper and then use that to cut out the shape of your strawberry. The next thing you're going to do is sew around the two straight sides and the rounded point using a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure that you backstitch at the beginning and the ending of your sewing. The next thing that you're going to want to do is clip the seam allowance in this curved point. I like to use pinking shears to do this, but you can also just use regular scissors and um, just snip little notches in there. It will help that curve lay flatter when you turn it right side out, which is the next thing we're gonna do. So we're going to turn this right side out, and what I like to do to make sure that my curve is nice and even is I will take and roll the seam in my fingers until my stitch line is right at the edge there, and it helps me get a nice smooth curve. The next thing that we're going to want to do is run a gathering stitch around the top of our strawberry. I'm using a double, um, a doubled up thread and just a regular sewing needle. I usually just start at one end just because it's easier to find it. And then you're just going to run this gathering stitch, this running stitch, about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little scant quarter of an inch all the way around from one side until you come all the way back to where you started. Once you get that far, then you're going to pull your thread, which is why you wanna double it up, and tighten up the top, and then you wanna stuff that as much as you possibly can. Couple of tips when you're stuffing is to start with a few smaller pieces at the beginning so that you get this tip nice and pointy. If you start with too big of a piece um, of stuffing as you put it in there, then you'll end up with little gaps in this bottom part right here and you won't have as nice of a shape for your strawberry. So start with some small pieces and then stuff that as tight as you can. You'll want to continue to pull on your thread here to keep this top part tight as you're stuffing it so you can get as much stuffing in there as you can. Then you're going to tie off your thread at the top to hold all of your stuffing together. The next step is to prepare our top I like to cut mine out of wool felt. And one tip for cutting out wool felt shapes is to use freezer paper. You can trace or print your um, shape onto the freezer paper, and then you'll use a medium iron with no steam to fuse your pattern to the felt and then cut it out. And then once it's cut out, you just pull away the freezer paper. It makes it really easy to cut out those shapes. The next thing you're gonna do is just use a needle and thread with a full um, six strands of floss to create your little stem. So what I'll do is I'll come up on one side, go back down, and then I'll tie a knot. So once I have the length that I want, I'll tie a knot at the end, then I'll flip it back over, and I'll pull it up so that my knot is underneath and my loop is at the top. And that will act as our stem, or if you wanna use this as an ornament, you can hang your strawberry with that. Once you have the stem on your topper, then you're ready to attach it to your strawberry. I like to line up the knot with the opening in the top of my strawberry. And then what I like to do is I will just kind of hold that leaf in place and smooth it down. And then I'll use a pin to hold one point in place and then I'll go across and I will use another pin to hold the opposite end in place. And I will add three or four pins um, to the top of my strawberry to just kind of hold that felt into place as I stitch down the top of my, um, the top of my strawberry. Now I have done this with hot glue and it finishes just fine if you want to do that. It's certainly much faster than stitching everything down. Um, but I really do prefer the look of the whip stitch finish, um, stitching down all the way around the top of your berry. So let me show you how to do the whip stitch. I'm going to take a needle with one strand of my floss. 
You wanna make sure it matches the felt that you're using. And the first thing I'm gonna do is bury my knot. So I'm gonna fold away one leaf and I'm gonna put my needle in there. And then I'm gonna bring out my needle where I want my first stitch to be. So my first stitch is gonna be at the top of that point and I'm gonna pull it through. And now you see my knot is buried and it will be hidden underneath that flap. Then to do my whip stitch, I am going to bring my needle down straight across from that stitch and then I will bring my needle up one stitch length away and I'm gonna pull my floss. You can see I have my first stitch there. So I'm going to, again, bring it down straight across from the stitch and then bring it up one stitch away and pull. And I'm gonna to continue to do that all the way around the entire top of my berry. And once you have it all stitched down, then your berry's done. If you want, I have included a template for adding a flower and a leaf. I like to use a felt palm to make the center, but you could use French knots or beads. And then I just um, stick it to the top of my berry with hot glue or some stitches. And it just adds a fun little element to that. Um, Especially if you have, you know, a whole bushel of berries, it's kind of fun to throw a couple of flowers in there. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for stuffed strawberries. And if you um, like this tutorial, I hope you'll subscribe and follow along for lots more tutorials and patterns from Amarooni Designs.